The year is 4454. Earth has been destroyed after Sol went supernova, and humanity now finds themselves living amongst the stars with alien races beyond their imagination. Civil war, distrust, politics are all still rampant within human society, and they are only heightened by what some feel is an overreaching alien influence that threatens the old ways of true humanity. Others, of course, welcome the alien influence and seek to learn all that they can from these new and interesting races. Then, into the middle of everything, comes a mysterious, powerful and dark vessel simply known as the Black Sun. It seems to have no agenda, no mission, other than to create chaos and havoc throughout the galaxy, attacking human spaceships and settlements without provocation and leaving no survivors. What the galaxy needs now more than ever is a band of dedicated heroes who can stand between the Black Sun and those whom it would destroy. Okay, so we're back. Um, the update from the Black Sun so far from the ISS Garrison is that um, they have captured uh, an unknown Vokoin Eitron, who is going to be played by... Uh, I keep wanting to call you Jim McCarthy, but he was my lecturer at university, Jim Kelly. Um, I don't know who Jim Kelly is, I'm Jim McCarthy. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, who we shall hopefully speak to <laughs> in the next few moments. Um, what, what do you do and where do... What, what do you do with him? You, at the moment he's currently sat in the airlock. Well, when we're yeah. taking him into the med bay, yeah. I'm going to take some of the acid that we have and etch a penis into okay. his body. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool, that's cool. So, so, so kind of the testicles go around testicles the Testicles yeah, and then... Do we have, like, um, you know the kind of medical beds that have, like, those kind of bindings? Like yeah, you can, you can, can, yeah, you can bind so them. Yeah. Yeah. And just basically put a couple of body strips around there. Yeah, um, basically, so. the, the medical bay is... Useful as a, a brig in a co for a couple of reasons. One, it's hermetically sealed. You block, you lock it. Nothing can get in or out. Not even a microbe. Yeah. Um, also, because of certain medical conditions, like for example seizures and things like that, the beds have to have restraints on them. Um, does it have a purge system as well? Like it does there? have a purge system. Um, for example, if a microbe got free, yeah. uh, you could uh, uh, bas you would basically superheat the room. Yeah. It would be a flash for less than half a second, but it would hit around about 2,000 degrees. Um, <laughs> What's this button? Doing? But um, <laughs> ah, now this is something. This is something you guys will have, will have to do, um, and it's you can choose not to do it. Right. But it means that Layla is useless to you as a as a physician. Right. Um, when you got on the garrison, one of the things that was put in the, while he was uh, at Hallsport, while he was uh, sorting out the key, basically, the USB stick, mm. um, he logged all of your details onto it. Yeah. For her to have full access to Medbay priorities and stuff like that, to make her, yeah, to you're going to have to put her on. I, you don't need to roll for it, it's not, a, it's not an in-game thing, it's just something that you guys need to be aware of. So I'm presuming that we can, I would say we would it as a temporary member until yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. she's now at least listed as a temporary member of the crew. Um, so um, yeah, so you're all in. <coughs> are, are you all uh, in the med bay <coughs> looking at this guy? You all actually, I want to pull the captain aside. Okay, yep, yeah, you can. You can <coughs> I'm going to have a quick pull him aside and have a chat before we wake so this guy up. Mm-hmm. Okay. So uh, I'll take you actually to like. Area. Okay, we'll go to the captain's quarters. Yeah, you go to the captain's use. quarters. Yeah. <laughs> so you are. Oh, no, that's us left on moving. So you are um, in the captain's quarters now. Cool. Uh, everyone else is in da -da -da -da. the really oh, tiny. On, on the really tiny like bed. You are on. You are on the bed. There's like a window into that. No, no, captain's quarters is in the oh, tiny. Into the, um, the med bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's oh, a, can I just be stuck side of it? Yeah. There's a screen on the outside so that you can watch. Um, like obviously, you know, because they're prepared for all medical situations, i.e., births, deaths, that kind of thing, and also to provide rudimentary stuff. Stub toes. Yeah, stub toes. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> Captain, Splint you splinters. Splinters. <laughs> Hello, 
Lego-based Lego injuries. Based injuries. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so you guys are now in the captain's quarters. The doors shut behind you. You guys, character what? Well, you're unconscious anyway. Uh, Character-wise, you can't hear anything, obviously. So, so uh, I understand that some of the uh, lesser races do have some use in the world, but filling this ship up with green screens and uh, flying freaks seems like it could actually be a problem for us. I mean, can you really trust them? I, uh, I understand your concern. However, I think for the time being, we should uh, let these people feel like they can be part of our crew and keep an eye on them, learn what we can from them. Then when we've finished gathering whatever information we can or they've out with the useful ones we can well, we'll talk again. <laughs> what a wonderful phrase. Outlive their usefulness. I love that. Well, um, you know, we can always uh, rig up something <laughs> to cause an accident in the mid and just superheat it. Use the purge system and clear out all of them in one go. So we can't hear this. <laughs> no, I, you have no idea. Can't hear this I understand what you're saying, Mr. Bishop. However, I think for in Uzleth's case, we don't really know anything about the girl and I think we should, uh, he's not really disturbing anyone, we should leave him where he is, but this uh, other life form we've just brought aboard, I think we should keep close eye on him. I know that the, the coin trusts are quite militant, I've had some dealings with them in the past, some uh, encounters, let's say, that uh, were quite, uh, quite interesting, so I think that Definitely someone to keep an eye on. Most of my encounters with them have ended with one of them as a corpse, or one of my friends as a corpse. Uh, so I struggle to understand them, but you've had more experiences than me, so I will uh, deter to your experiences of life in this situation. I will just say that they're very uh, cunning and can be quite manipulative in their. Uh, Negotiations, let's say. So just uh, keep uh, keep an eye on him. Uh, well, you know, if it ever gets I'm sure to, you will. You know, if it gets to that stage at any point, I will happily crush the arrows. Uh, at this point of conversation, there's a sort of like a, a, a communication yeah. sound, and you hear Layla's voice saying, um, "Captain Callahan, uh, with your permission, I am prepared to uh, rouse the alien." Very well, uh, we're on our way to the main. <laughs> Not a rouse, <laughs> rouse. It's been a long trip, I'd say. It's a his happy ending, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's also a professional masseuse. Yeah. We yeah, pulls the curtain across. Yeah. We walk back in and she's, I'm just arousing the aliens, <laughs> Captain. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you could wait for myself and Mr. Bishop to arrive, then we uh, can proceed with that. Uh, Rousal. <laughs> of the arousal of uh, said life form. Certainly, yeah. sir. I would have thought of this running with that and going through to see if she needs any So you're heading through, yep, so yeah. you're in the. This is the problem when uh, I've drawn this map, I should really have drawn a bigger version of the Med Bay. Um, actually, I might do that since I've got, since I've got this. Med Bay's huge! Yes, oh, the, shit! The Med Bay is absolutely huge. No, I'll just. Big as the I'll draw it in a little corner down here. Rusty, are you making your way towards Maple Bay or are you staying in engineering? I'm looking out for freedom. You're looking through observation. the observation, so uh, I shall put um, you. His, his spiky gun, by the way, we've. Yeah, they're monitored. Oh, yeah, we've got to get We've locked it, locked it away. Oh, his gun is locked away. It's yeah, a cool. box and uh, storage. So if you can just sort of make a note next to that on your case, yeah, you that you don't actually have it at the moment. Yeah. Um, I, I'm assuming you're just going to go straight in and. Well, yeah, 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 I wouldn't mark it down until it comes to combat, mate, if I'm honest. No, no, he doesn't have it. Because no, we need to remember to give him back. Yeah. Yeah, I know, but if we don't get to come back before that, then, then you may not give him back. Yeah. There's a chance even when we get to come back, I might not give him back. To yeah. Uh, okay. I think just just because I will forget. Oh, and I'd rather have it no choice. I've just put no good and just go. I've used alien yeah. technology. Shoot him, send him. So, uh, where do you two where do you two want to go? Because this is this is Layla. That's my monkey mind. <laughs> if I just I'll, uh, that I'll kind of be so. like in the door, but like leaning on the door frame. Leaning on the door frame. I'll stand I'll make next. Sure the door's closed. So stand next to the captain. Next to the captain. Uh, with shotgun trained on. 
Yeah. Um, I should point out if you want the shotgun triangle, there is a there is yeah. a glass so you can see. Yeah. But there is a glass screen between the two beds. Knowing what we know about oh, this yeah. type of race, what little we know. Yeah. Um, I'll be gonna make sure like weapons are on show. Yeah. From our kind of point of view. That's cool. To, That's fine. Like, so. so in that case, if Captain's given orders, I'll have my hand like properly. Yeah, this is like, so, you know, yeah. if I know what this guy is, he's That's gonna go, yeah, these guys mean business. Yeah, right. not a bad shout, yeah. yeah. So, when, when the armor bags be around? Uh, Roused, <laughs> awoken. So, <laughs> get woken up. Uh, I will see, what I want to see in the room, because there's a, I'll take there's a pile of glass, but they're all behind. Uh, that, it's not, it's, it's what you will see, because presumably you are now, uh, uh, just before I get to that, Jim, uh, presumably you're going to, now you're here, going to give the order to say, well, Layla will, well, as soon as you enter, Layla will look at you and go, uh, ready, Captain? Arouse the alien. And she, uh, she reaches down to her medical supplies that she's brought in. They're still sort of boxed. It's like, it, it looks a bit like moving house at the moment. There's still boxes of medical stuff from the other ship. She picks up... Um, We've got our own supplies there as well. Yeah, 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 you've got your own stuff as well. She picks up a small syringe and she finds... That's a small syringe. What are you doing arousing? Well, we're not arousing. Okay. <laughs> you want to arouse you, you can roll for circumference. Um, <laughs> and she, she finds a small spot on the neck um, and she very gently presses this thing. And you very slowly come around. The first thing you notice... Four is that you can't move at all. You are locked in the bed. Mm -hmm. Your head can move, but that is it. You can't you can't exactly. struggle up or anything like that. So, so I'm, I'm like pinned down. It, yeah, imagine, it, it, it basically imagine you've got like belts wrapped around your arms. They're stuck by your sides and stuff like that. So, you know, at the beginning am, I going, am, I, am I going to see, yeah. am I going to see anyone in my vision? Uh, We've got one first thing you'll see like is lights. the ceiling. Which to you looks like an it's it's an alien ceiling. You you've n probably not had much experience of human ships, um, so you. Uh, so alien sends me is fine. Yeah, so you look at it and go, you know, you don't know where you are. Um, do you look around at all? Yeah. So um, I'll. Uh, so is, is, have, have I just been woken up? You've literally just this second you okay, are so coming to. I've, 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 so I've come around and yeah. uh, so I'm, I'm I'm sort of groggy. Yes. And uh, all of a sudden I go, Hey! Hey, what's going on, man? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's happened to me voice, man? Hey, I'm gonna bang on the head! <laughs> this was such a serious story. <laughs> um, are you doing this common or your natural language? No, this is, this is common language. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Well, common is the... Common is the, um, the language of commerce throughout the universe. It's not strictly English. In the it wouldn't be, but for our purposes, it's it's English. Um, so you are intelligent enough to have worked out that you're not on the coin each. That ship, bumps so. on me head. It's in my voice all funny. It's so funny. <laughs> Good God! Um, at this point, you feel um, you feel a human hand advance on you from the far side of the bed. It's and it's just a gentle touch. Um, it says you're safe. Um, you are, uh, you are, uh, I promise you I will let no harm come to you. Um, Who's this? Layla. This is Layla, it's a female voice you hear. And you know, she says, I am doing all I can to, to treat your wounds. Humans! Uh, Humans! <laughs> uh, y y yes, yes, but um, I can only speak for myself, but for me, all, all life is precious, so you have nothing to fear f from me. Well, why have you tied me down? At this point she sort of looks up and sort of makes eye contact with you two. We've tied you down oh, for Oh, here your comes the cavalry! <laughs> <laughs> We've tied you down for your own safety. Oh, yeah, feel really safe now! Shut up, green skin. Oh, yeah, who's your mate? <laughs> who's your mate? Well, from the list of things, you haven't got any mates, so I suggest that you... Where's my ship gone? What happened? Well, why have you put me on here? Where's my ship? Your ship burnt up. Oh, what'd you do to it, man? No, you flew into us and it crashed. No, it no, was no, I was hybrid. <laughs> you were unconscious, it burnt up in atmosphere, we only just saved you. Oh, really? And I've got five humans to take the bloody thing off, have I? I don't trust you. And Layla looks at him and says, Captain, perhaps we should show him the external feed of the event. 
very well. Yeah, you push it and a screen sort of appears out of nowhere above your head. Um, and you see the events, you see from the garage's point of view, you see them suddenly roll and then come into view well, of view. Everything that was, as I said, a rescue operation from... Oh, no, 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 we cut before the rescue operation. Yeah, what you, see, sure. what you see is you see the external ship, only the ship feed, not their head camera feed. And um, you see them catch up to you, overtake you and bounce you off the atmosphere. Well, you see them go past you and presumably you can put two and two together. Um, actually, uh, if you could, uh, and if you could roll, um, yeah, it would be a d20, uh, and two and a half hours in a morning first dice. <laughs> hey! Hey! Roll a one. One. It's <laughs> coming. <laughs> it's all Yeah, if you could, if you could roll uh, an inter a straight intelligence check, please. No. You can't put two and two together in terms of what they were actually doing, but all you make out is that you were heading towards a planet, they chased, and you are now here not burning up on a planet. That's all you get from it. I so... What were you lot doing heading to that planet then, like? We weren't heading to that planet. You crashed into us, not just off course, and we decided to uh, to rescue you. Oh, I like this story. I'm wishing we had made a decision. Oh, right you should have. We were oh, going to just yeah. blast you out of space, so think yourself lucky that we actually Look it! Decided look at me! I'm tied down, man! How can I feel lucky? Well, you could have been dead. Could have been worse. Trust me. I had to be very careful with that. Yeah, he, he almost kills you. Yes. You're... Roll a bluff check. He <laughs> <laughs> did almost open fire on him. No, he almost opened fire on you. No, no, when you were in charge of the cannons on the ship. You almost shot his ship. Natural 20! <laughs> <laughs> you look up at this person and as insulting as you've been, he's given you no reason to believe he's a liar. What did you say? <laughs> He always killed you. Oh, so you're acting like the enemy, are ya? <laughs> <laughs> this lad over here, son of the earth! Oh, really? And there's you over there, give me loads of shit! <laughs> so you're gonna believe someone you've only just met? <laughs> this well, is why I love D&D. Well, if you're naive as he says so, but... I was the one who probably saved your life over that one. Well, I can see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you're gonna hear. You wouldn't be able to see from where you are, but you can hear a voice over in the com go. What? What did you want it on Grunger for? <laughs> what is, is this in your language or? In it'll, be, it'll be in com. Yeah. What did you say that for? What, what did you? What did you say? What, 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 were you, what did you want on Grunger for? Not the one on Grunger. And what was it doing? Yeah, Grunger for. Where you had it there. Grunger for is the planet. I but weren't heading to no planet, I was getting chased, man. Why? I'm different now. <laughs> okay. Did you just say... No, I'm just shooting at us. Did you say, I don't know? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know. Roll a bluff just, check. Just, 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 <laughs> just so you know, different now is Jordan for I don't know. Uh, ten. Plus your bluff. Plus, your, plus any bluff skill. Ten. Plus your charisma. So what would that Ten. Ten. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if, you could, if you could all roll a sense motive. Well, I've already beaten that without just rolling the eight. <laughs> I, rolled, I rolled a ten, but I've got an eight. Okay, so you got, so you got an eight. So you got nineteen. Fifteen. Fifteen. Six. Six. Uh, you two, you think, yeah, that's, yeah, you know what, that's fair. <laughs> you two can tell. Bullshit. Uh, it's not total bullshit. Bullshit. It's not total bullshit, but you get the impression he is hiding enough information for it to be of consequence. Bullshit. <laughs> oh, so you saved me life and now you're calling me a liar? Yes. You owe me, I saved your life. You are something else. You I, are... I saved your life, I stopped you being killed, you owe us the truth. Can I try and intimidate? You can try. He already thinks you're trying to kill him, so yeah, yeah I probably would. Quite well. So if I'm going to pull out the gun, so if you think I'm already going to kill you, I might as well just 
fucking hell, my only possible friend. <laughs> <laughs> I ruined it. I ruined it. And I'm just literally just going to point it at him and Sorry, just say, look. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us the truth. Oh, I see you think you're a Whoa, big I haven't finished yet. <laughs> 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 oh, hold your horses, boy. I'm not big, but I'm not big, ah. actually. <laughs> I'm not five, I'm only five foot ten. Judging by your um, stature, it looks like you're slightly bigger than I am. <laughs> and I'm not afraid of that. Anyway, means as you're tied down, you've got no way you can go. No shit. Tell us the truth, and maybe we'll let you go. So, you Or maybe we'll let you have down. a hand free. You know, just scratch your nose. You tied me down, and there's one, two, three, four, five, and Terry! Look! <laughs> I'm <terrible. What? laughs> Oh yeah, Matt is there. He's um, standing there, still the name tag off. Terry's sort of back. Of, <laughs> uh, <laughs> he names every band yeah. just Terry on it. <laughs> I'm so sorry, time. Matt. I did all I could. Chris, Terry doesn't want to be in that. Remember, there's a purge system, man. Yeah, he won't be in that. I ain't killing him while he's not here. <laughs> <laughs> Terry is in there. <laughs> He's a valued member of your crew. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was an intimidate. Okay, so if you could roll an intimidate. Nope, three. <laughs> uh, hey, you might roll worse than you. I'll say, if you, if you roll, if you roll uh, an oppose. Nine. Yeah, you get the impression that this guy genuinely thinks he's going to be scary to you, but you have seen far worse in your lifetime. Made, made better by the fact that... Um, you can't, there's no face expression to back him up. Which for some people is unusual and scary, but you as of a coin interest, you're used to dealing with people who don't have face Just basically, just because you don't know it, basically I've got like a sheet metal mask, so it's just like literally just a profile, and all these like, blue LED lights, pretty much. Like that. So, the intimidate. Think of it a bit like an Iron Man without the. The intimidate is so bad that the eyes don't even glow red, they stay blue. <laughs> That's how gonna, bad it I'm was. They get like a, a friendly approach. ring. Yeah. Can I move like on this side? Yeah, yeah. Your face. Yeah, you'll pop, you'll pop round thing. Yeah, yeah. Crack. Oh, great! Another one. I'll follow round. Yeah. Actually, no, I'll step by as well. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Why well, don't you all come over for a chat and put the kettle on while you're there? I can't lower my voice. So At which point I go, oh yeah, I said a cupboard would be great, so I'll be back in a sec. Uh, so he's like, he's open, he's not like in a case or anything? No, no, right? he's just, it's, uh, it's, it's a force field yeah, rather cool. than, it's not yeah. a physical strap. Um, I kind of, kind of get down kind of close to him and I say, uh, now I'm not sure if it's the helium in your suit that's making your heart <laughs> strong, maybe it's affecting your brain <laughs> if you have one of those. Now we've just rescued you, so you can tell us what we want to know. Or we can send you back down there onto that rock, and you can stay there and you can die. No. And I'll hold my fist of my prosthetic arm yeah. next to his face, and um, what happens is from here you see a blade starts to kind of come out about four inches of steel right over your face. Ah, so you're a real wise guy. <laughs> Is that an oh, so I think it's probably wrong intimidate check on that. Fuck. <laughs> you can roll on a pose. Twelve. Right. What was yours? Um, mine was charisma um, five. Oh, 14. So you got a five, so you're on fourteen. Um, this one is slightly more scary, and you kind of get the impression that there's some sort of genuine power behind what he's saying. But again, you have, you've, you've had this situation a million times. This is to you what going to the loo is to most of us. This is just a, a, a sort of an hourly occurrence for you. Mm. Bucks. Okay, I'm going to go over and point my gun in his face and cock it. Okay, go for it, yeah. That's all I'm going to do. Right. I'm literally going to pop the shotgun and go stand in front of him. Yep. Yeah. Um, go on. And... Roll a ten. <laughs> uh, if you could roll oh, another... But I will use my guidance to make it an eleven. Yeah. How long does guidance last? Oh yeah, shit. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> um, I will punch him in the face and attempt to knock him out. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Um, Hello, welcome to the First of all, let's see if he opposes yeah. Mark's intimidate. Ha! Five, six, seven. Okay, this <laughs> one you believe. 
He hasn't tried it then. So he hasn't tried. So, uh, I literally just walked over, cut the shotgun, yeah. and pointed at you. He hasn't right. tried flowery words. He hasn't tried to talk to you. He has shown you just brute force, and that. I'm it. I'm it. I'm it. And he gets punched. <laughs> well, it depends. Do you want to punch him now that he's? Yeah. <laughs> I'll punch him in the face. Layla sort of sees what you're going to do, yeah. and um, says to you, Captain. If you punch him, we're going to have to wake for him to wake up, wake up again, and we're going to have to go through this whole charade again. As a doctor, I would politely ask that you that you don't. And as a captain, I say you do what the fuck I say. Thirteen. <laughs> um, what's your touch? Is it touch armor class for this? He's flat footed. Oh, he's flat footed. He'll be flat footed. What's your flat footed? Uh, Twelve. <laughs> okay, if you can uh, roll the damage for your fist, please. We're, this will, you'll take this as non-lethal damage. This is bludgeoning, not. It might not knock lethal trap this. So. Yeah, it may not knock you out. So yeah, it's non-lethal damage. So two, <laughs> two. So, so basically, so the, blade, the blade's kind of just gone back in. I was in one inch. <laughs> so and again, he now knows. He, you now know he means business. Um, <laughs> I'll go back and stand to where, where I was. Um, I'm, guessing, I'm guessing you've not dealt with these kind of people before, but they're not really one for talking. At this point, at this point, um, you see, uh, after you've smacked him on the chops, uh, you see a scope just very calmly walk out of the leather. Who is that? Sam. Uh, I still want to show the first one you saw when you woke up. And I will turn to you and say, can I? Uh, shut down. Uh, we, and again, Layla looks at you and says, not in my med bay, you can't. You're a guest on the ship. I am still a doctor. All life is precious, whether we agree with it or not. Is that cyclic damage? You took two, two points of non-lethal damage. Non -lethal. Well, are we, are we doing non-lethal? Yeah. Uh, which is yeah, it's trying to knock him out, knock him out. Tiny little bomb. No. <laughs> For God's sake. It's so true to a character, man. Uh, yeah? It's not what I would No. I had bollocks for that. Well, it depends. Uh, if Jim was the alien, then I'm right, but I'm next in the queue. But. <laughs> So, uh, what is what is your response to all of this? So, um, <laughs> you've been intimidated. Yeah, you, you're gonna have to. Cause now, now I've been punched in the face, but I've been intimidated by to the extent that I uh, need to answer some questions. Yeah. What was it you asked? I, all, all you've done is come up. The like, over. He didn't ask any question. The overriding question the crew is asking you is what were you doing? What are you not telling us? Because you said you were running um, from someone, but you didn't know who. Yeah. I'll give Bishop a nod because I think he's pretty much in the same. Yeah. So. Uh, Rich, put that gun away and I'll talk to you. Talk to us, then I'll put it away. Put that gun away and I'll talk to you. Captain. Otherwise, you're gonna get no information. It's quite simple. Bishop, put it away. Captain. That was captain. That was a ten on the point. Well, he's, he's agreed to the captain's rules anyway. So, uh, presumably, you now you now put your gun away. Ah, you're a big man, aren't you? I'll pistol weapon before I do. <laughs> Getting chased by some, by some sort of crafts, you see, and I got shot. That's Ten. all I remember. So, meet uh, matches on class. Match. Yeah. Hold on, you're being pistol whipped. I do apologise. You might have to say all that again. He's got twelve. Is it? Oh yeah, it's twelve. Never mind. Yeah, that's fine. He didn't. He he, he goes to sort of pistol whip you, but you do have. An, you can move your head, so yeah. he swings and you sort of go. Phoom. Well, fuck off, four eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I should point out all this epic stuff that's happening is happening while you're staring at an alien who has a cock and balls <laughs> drawn up, which you haven't seen yet. No. Um, so yes, if you <laughs> if, if you carry on with with so what you were saying, since you are actually giving the answers to the questions they wanted you to answer. Basically, uh, just repeat what you what you, you were saying. Said. You were being chased by a craft. I am again chased by a couple of crafts, and I got shot. And then, I, well, I didn't know what happened, but obviously, I've looked at that monitor up there, and I believe I didn't see you lot, didn't I? Why were you being chased? That's a good question. Well, answer it. 
I don't know. I got banged on the head. Sense you can sense the fuck out of that motive. <laughs> Where was on your ship? Did you build it yourself? Uh, that will be uh, twelve. All senses from. Oh, so if we can, if we can do the sense motive first, then. Will be four. Okay, and if you can roll um, using it, would be it, it would be your sense of doing a bluff check. Ah, I see. Fourteen. So um, again. You believe that he doesn't know why he was being chased, he just got into a situation where he was being chased. Just one of those things, I guess. And what were you doing by yourself in one of these, one of these uh, crafts? It's a car that I own. Have you still got it? Maybe we have. Maybe. Maybe we can salvage. Fantastic. What condition is it in, man? What's left of it? Is it that bad? Yes. Just right back in what repercussions? Um, the engine might have modifications that have been done on that craft. Did you do them there yourself? Specific or no. local? Specific. Sorry, no, I just, specific I just, engineers. I'll deal with it. Deal with it. Just, just right back. I mean, why? Why would a uh, why would they see it fit to apply a it was a hyperspace? Yeah. Yeah, it was not. Why would why would uh, engineers be looking to add a hyperspace to a civilian craft like this? No, here you're gonna have to explain to you what a hyperspace is. It's like Hyperspace, it's, 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 it's a way of travelling through space at massively times the speed of light. Instead of it being car travelling around the planet, you yeah. jump. Yeah, because yeah. right, okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's like being on the way as opposed to walking. It's only designed for going down Tesco, but you would vomit it down to six. Hey, I don't live very long, man. I want to see as much as I can of our galaxy. So you must have a lot of power and wealth to... Well, looking at it wasn't a very good job. I'm not a must rich a man. Of, must have been a bit of a rush job. I'm not a rich man. you got to pay what you can, can't you? Pay what you can Looks afford. Like Looks like you got what you paid for. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, coin you trust, tell me, uh, are you part of any kind of army? What rank do you hold? No army whatsoever. That surprises me. Considering the weapon we found about your person. Aye. Well, have you it's got weapons? I've just seen one in my face, man. It's not your What's that thing coming on your hand? It's not your run of the mill. Weapon they we carry around. Where I come from, that is a standard weapon. And you're trying to tell me that you're not part of any affiliation or any no kind of military organization? No affiliation, no military, nothing. Then who are you? Please. Indulge us. What do you want to know? My name's Rusty. What's yours? Rusty? Yeah. Well, my name's Klutz. Klutz. Okay. Ouch. Okay, close. <laughs> <laughs> it's been done. So, Rusty. Yeah. Tell us what's your back history. I'll be honest with you, Klutz. Good, because I've been honest with you. I haven't got a damn clue. These guys treated me exactly the same. Yeah, they're assholes, but... They'll keep you alive. Oh, so you were lying down on here, were you? No, I was in the airlock about to get ejected. Yeah, there was a little bit more to that than just us trying to throw you out into space. I you mean... shut up, Gobby. <laughs> I'd I'm to talking that. to Rusty. <laughs> <laughs> Shotgun comes back out. Yeah, the shotgun. I am the one who intimidated you. <laughs> Please, gentlemen, says Layla. Look, you'll have a, you'll have a much easier time giving them what they want. I've answered everything you've asked. You haven't told us where you came from. That'll help us piece together the last piece Let of the puzzle. Let me do some research. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just read this piece of paper Let the DM think. wrote for me. <laughs> um, Itraski. What? Itraski. I-T-R. Aski. You need to do a knowledge star chat. No. No, that's for him. Yeah, 
Uh, so, what's the place we're comparing to? Bartholomew's Dock. Bartholomew's Dock, we're comparing to. Um, before we carry on, you can roll a hacking check, please. Oh, it's natural twenty. It's sneaked oh. off, isn't it? Natural twenty. Um, is this plus my skill? Plus your skill. Did you take control of the ship? Twenty-six. Not quite. What happens is, you see lights flicker. You hear the engines power down. You see the flash of the force field around him disappear. You see auxiliary emergency lights come on, which bathe the ship in a very red hue. And you hear the unmistakable sound of... Here we go. <laughs> As your ship comes to a halt, you are now free to move. He's still strapped in, though. No, he's saying No, he's it's still force field. There's no physical strapping. Oh, it's not. Okay. It's oh, that's force what I meant. field it's only. Body binding as well. Oh, no, no, sorry. That, sorry, I, I, I obviously explained it badly. No, it's just a force okay. field holding him in. There's no physical thing strapping right. him in. I thought it was strapped. No, it was, wow. it was force yeah, field. Were you, were, you were physically restrained, but it's, it's not It's, it's not like a rope. It. It's yeah, force it's, field. it's yeah, a force field. Sense. True. Can you watch Star Wars? They also, do uh, something, they also do something similar on Star Trek as well. You know, that scene where everyone was spinning around. My gun's fully charged, by the way. Yeah, of course it is, yes. Sure that's ready as well. Point yeah. that. And he hasn't said enough for us to trust him, so my gun's fucking straight out. Oh, so that's the point. You I'm should also... Right out, yeah. what, what you do know is you, you sort of look down and go, ooh, then look up and go, ooh, because you've got yeah, a shotgun so, uh, and his gun at your head. So uh, when, when this happens, I uh, go, ah! Yes, I let me go, and I see these guns pointing at me, and I just casually sit up and go, <laughs> I've got some dust on me suit. I look at him and go, he's I'm from a little place called... No, he's not he can't just... see me. He tra... He's trying to get back down, yeah. 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 Hey, with that voice, wherever you are, I'm from a little place called Itrasky. <laughs> if you've heard of it, you, that, no, you don't need to roll for that. that you, don't, you don't need to roll for that. That's fairly common knowledge. Well, where, That's their home world. Where are you from? Uh, I'm just going to take a step back when the shields went down. I'll yeah, it's fine. To about um, there. Yeah. Just literally I can't remember the train <laughs> You pay, you can put them things right down. I'm unarmed. Remember? Right, actually, later at this point, just say. You took all my stuff! In, in all seriousness, gentlemen, he, he is unarmed. And so, has yet to I do anything. That, but it doesn't mean he's not dangerous. Where are you from? I'm trying to find the Facebook oh, sorry. chat sorry, no. to Chris about a year ago. Sorry. <laughs> 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 sorry. Three months at fucking most. <laughs> yeah. uh, a year the coin address. None of us are here by choice. So I think if you want to cooperate, you should speak plainly to our friend Rusty. Well, if you hadn't noticed. Dope. <laughs> I'm in the middle of a chat. Why <laughs> you are just pointing a gun in my face? Captain, I'm gonna kill um, you. Can I fire it at the kneecap, please? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Full charge. Go. Yeah, yeah. Um, 17. What is your armour class? No, I know that. 17. That beats your armour class, I'm sure. Because yours is 15 Wait, from when it matches. Uh, yeah, it's not. It's not. Be. It shouldn't yeah, be it? seven. It's not seven. Is it seventeen? Okay, so it's a natural armor plus two as well as. A oh, of course, yes. So yeah, he. It's a dead straight match. Oh, okay. uh, fucking hell. Where is my? Go. Out of interest, what are you doing at this point? Shit, I'm no one do. No, no. But what are you doing now? <laughs> Leave it with me. Uh. Ten points of damage. How many points do you have? I've got one left. Straight, got, to the, straight to the you've leg. You've got one left. You crumple. <laughs> your kneecap, <laughs> you sort of look down your kneecap properly goes... <laughs> and yeah. now I lean back down again like I did before. And I say, I'm the captain of this fucking ship. So you do what the fuck I say. I will have can do fuck all now, can I dig it? Hold on, really hold on, on hold on. By the sounds of it. There is um, something very important that you've just done. You go for fire in front of her in there. No, it's more important than that. Oh, um, fuck. 
if you could please roll a reflex save for me. Shit. Not okay. you, him. Oh. Four. Four, right, okay. Not Six. only have you blown his kneecap off, you've actually yeah. damaged his, his suit. So now air is... You see a spew of white, freezing cold air. Um... Let me kill him. <laughs> um, I'll not to the, to um, Layla. I'll just come. I'll clamp down on it. I'll tie off the uh, leg. If you could, you've got one <laughs> hit point of damage left. Leg. You need to fall unconscious. If you could also roll um, a one d four, please. It's a triangular one. Uh, you are now at zero, you are unconscious because the air from your suit has leaked out to such an extent and you have got um, Layla now has four minutes before he reaches critical air loss so we'll leave it three minutes <laughs> um, so what are your orders now? All the, powers, all the power has been turned off all all so you've got, got no access to anything so all <laughs> medical devices not I'll say to her. <laughs> any handheld stuff right. is not powered by the ship, but she I'll can't do her. scans, she okay. can't find out the extent of the well, damage. Uh, do what you can. I try my best. I'm going to head off to engineering. <laughs> <laughs> at which point, Layla looks at you and says, I will do what I can as I'm a doctor, but you are going to have to do something for me first. Which is? Pick him up and put him on the bloody bed. Uh, I'll grab him by his ankle, bad leg got shot. <laughs> <laughs> I'll uh, come and pick him up by his uh, gas tubes at the front as well. Between the two of us, we can we yeah, we'll do, Between the one. two of you, you'll do it unless you both roll like a two. Um, <laughs> do you want us to roll? No, I'm just. What just well, if you get a one? Because, <laughs> if, <laughs> because if you get a critical one, you could drop him and he yeah. might die. Oh, let's roll it! <laughs> <laughs> I'm over seven! I'm over seven! No, it didn't happen. <laughs> no, it's fine, you. Yeah. So you pick him up, put him on the bed, and she oh, sort of brutal. stares you daggers, but calmly then turns away and gets on with her work, doing what she can to prevent this alien well, from she's dying. While back to him, I'll just turn to you and say, I "Told you we should have killed him." Uh, and she's now what? With her dog. It's now what do you want to do? <laughs> um, well, she's always staring at me, so I said, "Do what you need to do." Yep, she's away. She's yeah. away doing that, and um, I want to know whether the power's gone out. Yeah, I've gone. I'm heading off. Is that what you're doing? Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm going to the end. I'm gonna stay where I am. I think. With that door of locks on the moon, Bruce. The good news is, Jim. Yeah. Uh, she not only um, she not only takes less than four minutes to patch up your leg. She actually, within the four minute time period, she actually also manages to pretty much seal it completely. Okay. And begins to re input atmosphere. Or is making preparation because she can't do it yet because she's got electronics failure. Um, um, <laughs> but she rolled, she rolled a 28 on her medicine skill, so she has more than <laughs> saved your life. Now, presumably you two will make your way out of Medbay well, at this point. The glass in here is soundproof, right? I wouldn't have been able to hear any of that shit actually. Well, the doors. Are the doors are soundproof, yeah, it's completely soundproof. Okay, it's soundproof. Okay. So no one heard the gunshot either? No. These guys have no <laughs> idea about the only person. No, 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 no. The only person that knows is Layla, you two, wow. and him. Um, I'd like to try and intimidate wow. Layla to keep her mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've, I've gone, I'm going to just fucking sit down in the captain's so chair. I mean, I'm like this. Like as a DM, I'm happy to do it, but you are aware that this within the, the space of 24 game. hours, in fact, within the space of, yeah, 24 hours, you have killed her father, <laughs> shot her patient in front of her, despite all her protestations, and now you want to intimidate her. No. Roll it, roll it. I think I should get a bonus for well, the yeah, intimidation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a bad roll. What'd you roll? Um, like a three. Don't worry, I'm actually. She rolled a nine. Um, Did we get any bonuses for all the horrible things? Watching her dad's heart get crushed in front of her. Seeing no, on the basis that while crushing her dad's heart was a sort of non-plus event because she obviously misses him, but he was not her father in the sense of he changed so much. 
Um, she's also fucking pissed at you right now. Um, because as a doctor, she genuinely believes that all life is sacred and for you to just do that. Yeah, but we didn't kill him. Yeah. <laughs> oh! Oh! That's a proper boy outside the headmaster. <laughs> that is. I just wanted to man. Such a man. We just called him names. <laughs> we didn't fucking kill him. We just shot, we his, just shot off. his knee off and nearly killed him. Nearly killed him isn't the same as killing him. Technically, technically true. I've got no idea about it. I didn't know that would happen. Yeah, yeah, we're but, not. Um, well, at least we're making friends. <laughs> but no. um, she's not happy with you. Yeah. She basically looks at you. She basically looks at you and says. From my character's point of view, from oh, what he learned yeah, from that yeah. encounter, was like, all this guy in the stands is fucking brute force. No, I, I'm. I, so I'm that's, not, that's no, not questioning it as a DM. That's my character's thing. Yeah. Might she be. Well, just talking to her. It'll be implying that, you know. Step out of line again. It won't be a Newcastle shot. And that if she could uh, get him to be more cooperative, well, it's probably the best thing oh, for him. Before I go, actually, I'll, I'll say to Klutz, I'll say. Um, I'm unconscious. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah he's I'm not unconscious. Unless you say at the moment of the gunshot. Okay, yeah. At the moment of the gunshot, I'll say, by the way, you've got a cock on your face. <laughs> you've got a cock on your face. <laughs> yeah. I wish I was awake for that. So um, <laughs> we'll set up a. Can we set up a. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. None of the computers are working. No. Shit. Layla's response to you oh, really? <laughs> is, is a very oh, simple, <laughs> very simple one, which is my patient. Oh, and that's all she says. Uh, no, you, you feel the intimidating. I know, but <laughs> And she just yeah. goes, my patient. My patient has responsibility. Yeah. Um, and so, oh, presumably, damn, you guys count. are going to leave. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, right. So the, so the new mid bay is going to be in the. You air. are unconscious <laughs> in there with Layla. Yeah. Is Layla, Layla going to arouse me again? <laughs> no, she's currently keep, she's currently saving your life. <laughs> um, after that. Right. <laughs> can I just can I just ask a question? Yes. Mr. DM. Yes. When do we become the villains? <laughs> There's going to be a meeting against us soon. Going to be. <laughs> gonna be. This, guy, this guy's going to have been fucking Captain Layla. <laughs> Have you not noticed this is happening right to your nose? Hey, this is Captain Crooks! <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking pissed off! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna destroy you! <coughs> <it. laughs> we <laughs> joked... <laughs> we joked at work today that Jim turning up would create chaos. <laughs> it's not a fucking joke. Um, so, yes. So, sick rep, yeah. sick rep on the crew of the garrison. The garrison itself is floating aimlessly in space, completely powered down. Its newest member is being healed by its second newest member, who, while thankful that they saved her life, is really pissed off that they've just done what they've done. The captain and presumably now his first officer are tearing their way through um, any chance of diplomacy. The one person who supported the captain in the last episode has just turned all the power off. And Rusty. Um, he's making friends, man. He's making yeah, I'm yeah. trying to turn the power back on, but yeah, fuck. <laughs> We're murdering people. Right. Where, what are you doing at this precise <laughs> moment? Just a glut, so right? Any sort of diplomacy with, with Rusty who had some leave the situation. You know what? <laughs> it was in the room. <laughs> it was in the room. On. Oh, yeah. Fucking hell. Right, we need to revoke everyone's we'll access on the USB. Apart from me. <laughs> we'll do. That yeah, was an engineering check, wasn't it? Alright, shouldn't have been. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, y
off and no, those that have remained up. <laughs> There's no one on the bridge. We don't even have, because surely you've emergency power, you'd have well, the something to be able to do. You, you have a very yeah. basic set of yeah. commands. Yeah. DOS. Yeah, it is essentially it's in safe mode. Yeah. Um, is it, what's Uzleth doing? Is he just. Uzleth has same? not moved at all. Okay. <laughs> just We're not going to get anywhere, so fuck this. That's what it's thinking. Okay. Interesting. Um, I'll go and sit in the captain's chair and I kind of. I almost like. No Calhan's quite. Um, no when he's out, he's quite kind of. Statue, yeah. Very kind of strong posture, but when he sits in the chair, he kind of slouches yeah. and he puts his head in yeah. the chair. My presence is there. Um, it's all very weighing very heavy on him, yeah. all of this. But the other person that he calls. You. <laughs> you did the right thing, Captain. That's okay. what I said. Thank you. Right. Um, okay, we'll leave you two there just for a second. What are you doing at the moment, Rusty? I'll move the 10 feet to my right and turn the power back on in the engine room. Um, okay. <laughs> okay, go for it. <laughs> Do I need to roll? Yes, you'll need to roll. Um, and if you could oppose, roll. Fucking hell. Where the fuck are you, man? <laughs> <laughs> what am I imposing rolling? Well, you are. What are you? What, what are you he's rolling? rolling hacking. I rolled 23, bro. Did you roll hacking? I'm hacking? Yeah. I'm hacking? Okay, I didn't. Was it not engineering? Not oh, okay. I'm not bothered about it being. Okay, okay. It's, 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 oh, you're not? Okay, that can just roll. Sorry. It was just. I was just trying to fucking create a distraction so it could just be. Has the power come back on? Uh, the power's come back on. Locking yeah, my out. hacking's not going to be that because I don't have ship. training in it. Mine Locking down the thing. ship. All rooms, every okay. door locked. At this point, every single door on the ship. <laughs> Can I do a hacking check? I'm just unlock it. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? As soon as us, if there that's us hacking, I'll just, <laughs> <laughs> ship, I'll just start pumping air out of rooms. I'll be like, this is already my gag. <laughs> <laughs> this um, is my thing. Can I see it. which rooms don't have people in? <laughs> Uh, you can indeed look at the scanners. Uh, the rooms don't have that people in. I want to take the air out of. What? So <laughs> this hallway, yeah, the captain's quarters, the airlock. Yeah. He's not a human, so there, there, and there. Yes. Unless Sam's in one of them. You don't know where Sam is, uh, there is no sign of scope on oh, shit. any. I don't want to kill you. On, <laughs> there is no sign of scope on any of your cameras. Uh, okay, the main corridor. So we shut off each by taking the air out of that corridor. Oh, it yes, it's the traps everybody in the room somewhere. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll say, do I to go roll for that? Or? Uh, Where's our only access to outside? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. It needs to be able to show the airlock. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Get out of here. You think an FTL opening doors? <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> Game three, party has turned on itself. Okay. If you could roll a d8 for me. Presumably, when you went where you went, you did you stay still? Probably would have done. Yeah. Oh, you stayed absolutely still. Okay, in that case, ignore the roll because it's not fine. Three anyway. Yeah, we'll be fine. Um, uh, yeah, you can do that. Yeah, just one out of the main corridor. Main corridor. So just, just, just so you know, mate. And nothing happens. Well, there was a pistol in that airlock. I mean, obviously, uh, the, the airlock yeah. opened. Oh! <laughs> um, okay. Is that the main entrance to any of the anyway? Yeah. <laughs> so trapped everybody in the room there. Yeah. yeah. Um, intercom comes on. Yeah. Crew members of the garrison, this is your captain speaking. I sense a bit of indifference within the crew, <laughs> and maybe where similar loyalties lie, I thought hopefully that we'd uh, got past all this. Obviously, it seems we haven't. So, I have decided that we are going to continue our mission to head towards Bartholomew's Dock, refit the ship, and I suggest anyone who wants to leave this vessel does so when we arrive. If you wish to contact me in any way, Please do so over the intercom. Over. And I'll start flying the ship to <laughs> where we're we going. Yep. Uh, and it will take you roughly about an hour to get there from where you are. Um, and this does anyone trustworthy fucking crew? Does anyone have any business? Awful. Does anyone have any business to attend to? Yeah. 
um, in that hour. You can only do it in the room you're in, though. You can, you remember, I mean, I'm in a pretty powerful room. Remember, you, yeah. can't, you can't leave. You are in engineering, you two are on the bridge, yeah. you and Layla are in the, medis on the medical bay, you are on the ship. I, <laughs> I, 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 take, I take the snow globe that is on my console that yeah. I got from the home support, and I shake it, and I hold it close to my face, and I just stare into it. Okay, yeah. <laughs> This is not how I imagine this session going. I was hoping to say a bit more than... <laughs> <laughs> I, can, well I can well imagine. I was hoping you'd say a bit more actually. To be honest though mate, I mean... <laughs> Turn the rooms off. <laughs> it's just that there's a lot of strong cake right there. There are, there are a lot, there are a lot of strong cake. I just feel like I can start turning gravity off your rooms. What's brilliant is because yeah. all of our fucking backgrounds, That's fine, mate, <laughs> everything is ba everything is bang on. Oh, actually, I mean, that, that, that uh, one's uh, uh, Chris closed off at some point. This anyway, is so. Chris. Well, that is where is our other so guest, guest? mate? It's especially people. Oh, oh, Terry, Terry fucking Jordan. Oh, Terry. Jordan. Yeah, let you kill Terry. Terry, where is Oslef? Oslef, he's there. In the main corridor. Yeah. Where the where the airlocks open. Yeah. Yeah, but he's fucking. What's your point? Epic. He's alien superpower. He's fine. Fuck me. That's insane. Us left is, uh, and you can see on the cameras. Us left, you see a slight brush of air against his feathers as you open it. No other reaction. Fuck. I'd like to do that. Can't give any shits. <laughs> no, but w so you don't like need to do that. Mate, I had this really when it, it, the airlock is only open for a certain amount of time, so like <laughs> it will eventually close itself. And really? And then <laughs> re <-opted> it. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no there's no one there anyway. Also, and no, I want to keep up air out of that room completely. I don't want to let the air recycle into that room. Not before right, the okay. Right so, um, that area will be completely... Mate, live well, yeah, obviously live well. Yeah, it's bizarre. Sorry, Chris, we're giving you too much to do. Uh, <laughs> and trying to find that... Roll me a hacking nice. check. The bluff was horrible, the bluff was um, killer. Because it, if we did get on... Who knows, but... 24. Yes. <laughs> I'll just keep opening the airlock. Cool. <laughs> Right, okay. Um, Can I roll another one for, to divert Adam Are you, by, are you going to, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get my head around this because there's a lot that I was not expecting at all. Um, are you, are you in any way trying to stop anyone from rehacking it closed? I'm just turning off all the computer systems that we have. You're piloting the ship. I'm plugged in, on flying. no, I'm plugged into the ship. I'll turn does, you off. There's firewall, there's firewall, firewalls up. Firewalls up. Firewall. <laughs> So, we, we're only allowed to get into, like, the bridge. We're not even allowed to get into the bridge. All the, do all the doors I've never seen a DM are before. locked shut. Okay. Nothing gets in in this state. It's a complete lockdown. Okay. So. Is it just a question of breathing? No, it's just a question of us left. No, 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 that's not. No, that's oh, not. That's fine. It's fine. <laughs> no, it's not about us left doesn't matter. Yeah, it's um, absolutely fine. Don't worry about it. Where you started doing the thing you've done, um, there is currently air. Mm -hmm. Where you want to go, there is currently air. Okay. Where, to get through them, you've got to go through a point where there is no air. <laughs> but, <laughs> did we say that we were the <laughs> you, haven't, you didn't say you returned the breathers, no. Oh. I mean, okay, then you can put the breather on and you can get there, yes. No, because you're doing two completely unrelated things. Um, so yes, you can do that. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. Um, could you roll a move silently? Probably not. Could you two roll a listen check? Eleven, I think. I didn't do too well. Ooh. Oh, hello. I've got a six in this. Um, yeah. uh, Twelve. Twelve. Uh, no, I've got eleven. Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. There is a moment of stillness on the ship while everyone tries to take in. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell just happened? The last. 30 seconds of your lives have been utter chaos. Oh, shit. <laughs> and then you hear the unmistakable <laughs> 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 
of something or someone in the air vent <laughs> above you two <laughs> on the bridge. It's a similar like, setup to like the basic Oath similar Keeper. setup to what you had on the Oath Keeper. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Can I drop down? Um, do you two want to react to the sound you hear? Yeah, I'm pointing my fucking gun at I think it's this fucker over here. On the mission, is there uh, anything on the ship's of systems course. to do with cleansing air vents? Of course there is. You can flush out the air vents, you can... Uh, He's killed Lila. Let's fucking do uh, it. You, um, you can... The only way you can get air out of the air vents, however, is by turning off life support. Because the air vents... But then no. Yeah, yeah, no, no, but how about to flushing an air vent? Uh, flushing an air vent, um, you, it's, it's basically, it's a clean. Um, and it would be uh, a, a cascade of water. That would then push where it would, through to... Th well, through the vents. You oh, don't you you don't control where he'll end up. Okay, uh, I'll just flush the air vent. Okay, right, could you please roll <laughs> a reflex save? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Guns out, Reddick. Snowglow's back. Yes, I can. What did you roll? Actually, no, Snowglow's not. 23. Uh, yeah, you see, that you, you hear this cascade of water and you do <gasps> <laughs> and this stuff washes over you. But eventually, after about 20 seconds, it subsides. Uh, you guys see a couple of drips from maybe a slight gap in the vent during the garrison's earlier exploits before you were the crew of it. This poor fucking ship. Um, and then all is silent again. <laughs> Fuck! Oh, Sammy, you got them again. <laughs> move silently. Just move silently. And again, you hear. <laughs> oh, no, no, they've got to listen. They've got oh, you've got, you got, you got to listen. You've got to listen. 13. Nice uh, yeah, 20 yeah. something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Reflex save. <laughs> Three. 10. 10. Um, let me just do one for the water. Instead of just saying who the fuck's in the air vent, <laughs> oh, well, fucking who yeah, the, the water beats you. Of course it would. So again, this time. How you, far down would I go? Then? This time you hear it coming, and you will go. Um, Can I do another repose just to, just to try and catch myself? No, you're, you're traveling far too quickly. Okay. This, this is what this water is doing. It's designed to cleanse the air vents of anything that blocks them. Quick. Only the only the hardest materials can withstand the force behind this. So okay. it's a pressure wash essentially. Um, and you will travel. <laughs> so you were roughly here. So all I was trying to do was get to the fucking air vent so I could actually just get out. Well, I'm going to go out quickly. Three. I'm just, just dropping you out. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You are pushed um, ten blocks of this, ten lengths of this air vent. Fuck. And you end up above engineering. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just hear a. Fuck. Yeah, what you hear is. Is there a great? There is a great, yeah. There is. <laughs> Could you make a reflex save? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not on the great, though, am I? <laughs> oh, yeah. If he's on the great. If you guys want to fuck with my game. <laughs> no, I'm trying not to. You said you're on the great. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, no, could you, could you both roll. Well, could, first of all, no, could you roll a reflex save first? You're on the grape. Could you roll a reflex save? Uh, 17. As you open the grate, you see this figure drop out. You dodge back and avoid him. Could you please roll um, a, another reflex save? Roll good. 13. Uh, could you please roll a, D, a d6? Six. You take six points of falling damage. Oh, no. What the hell are you doing up there, kids? I was actually trying to speak to the captain. <laughs> those <laughs> don't actually be able to have a mature <laughs> conversation, so I tried to crawl through the air vents. So I did say, come on, the points. The intercom's not being pushed right now. Um, That's fine. Don't worry. The corridors will be oxygenated as we speak. Get the doors unlocked and then we'll go speak to him. Yeah, if there's anything to go by, that prick's not going to let us go anywhere. So. <laughs> 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 I don't particularly think there's anything we can do, so we might as well just sit on tight and then wait till we get up. And then I just literally sit on the floor and across my legs. <laughs> Shit, they're dead. <laughs> just 
I never went to the captain's program. <laughs> I wasn't, I wasn't, talking, about, I wasn't talking about you. Oh, okay. Because you weren't making the overall decision. Oh, it's okay. Uh, it this, He's in charge. At uh, this point... You can take some buttons, though. Well, yeah, don't, don't point the blame. <laughs> this is a team effort. At uh, this, this point, <laughs> on the bridge, there is an there is an outside communication symbol. So it's not you. You know it's not anyone on the ship oh, trying to contact you. At which, at which point? <laughs> at which point you hear? Hey, um, USS, uh, uh, sorry, unidentified uh, interstellar bureau ship. This is um, flight control at Bartholomew's port. Um, we are reading that you have decompression in at least one area of your ship. Could you please explain? <laughs> This is the ISS Garrison, Captain Callahan speaking. We have uh, sustained some damage to our vessel, uh, wishing permission to dock and repair, if possible. Oh, it's not a problem, just wondered if you were alright. Everything is just peachy. <laughs> it's absolutely fine, so you if you know what you should have said there, Chris? You said we're all fine here. Yeah, right? I'm, We're yeah, absolutely yeah, fine. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Situation How are you? Situation normal. <laughs> oh yeah, not at all. I'm assuming you won't be docking at the port then. If, uh, if that's possible. Oh, of course it is. We've got plenty of space. Don't worry. So if you could just hand over your control to the uh, to our main computer so we can dock you in, we'll get you we'll get you sorted as soon as right as soon as possible. Very well. Please don't uh, tamper with anything we have in place. Just for uh, safety reasons. Oh, of course, don't worry. We understand. You kind of get a, a, the idea of a verbal wink <laughs> in the way he says that. He's like, we understand, don't worry. We don't want to know what's inside your ship. And what you <laughs> s- and what you see. And I was desperate to get to this point because I've got. I've got a sneak peek. Yeah, David did get a sneak peek earlier. What you see Ooh. coming to uh, view in front of you. Is the only way to describe it would be um, essentially it, it, it looks like when you see it on your viewer because when you, you, they sent you that when you were half an hour away and half an hour away in space is a distance. As you get closer, as you as the docking computer brings you in, you sort of see what looks like a a pirate ship in space made of metal. Uh, Sweet. But you've got sort of yeah, it's a galleon sort of shape. And you are a space pirate. And your <laughs> ship docks. At Bartholomew's oh, port. Nice. 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 That's pretty fucking good. Um, nice. And I think, given. I wouldn't want to get out of and be like, <laughs> Given everything that's gone on tonight. So I say we fly it straight through into. straight into the ship, we'll just ram it. We are going to call that session there. Really? So, yes. Oh, that's oh. So when you come back. Uh, when we come back in, uh, we're turning on the, the end. Never mind ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> when you come Good. back, um, we will. Uh, the, the ship has just docked at Harold's port. We will deal with what happens to the crew of the ISIS garrison there. So thank you, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for playing. Um, in the comments, give let us know what you thought of that. Let us know if you thought they did anything right um, or anything wrong um, or anything right. Um, let us know how. Let us know which side you side with. Yeah, but let us know who you support in this. Um, my thanks to Christoph, Christopher Shornig, uh, Mark Alden Taylor, Jim Kelly, Sam Dispaul, and David Mitchell. Uh, I am the humble gamer. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.